I wish that no one knew that I was making it. I would do anything for my kid. I think it's like the scars that I have, it's like the tattoos that I have, something that I could keep for the rest of my life. It was early in last year's fall camp when Wake Forest trainers noticed a problem with then quarterback Sam Hartman's left arm. We get about nine days in, I'm in the weight room and one of our strength coaches is like, hey, like, why is your arm like purplish? Tests revealed a blood clot. Recurring clots would require blood thinners, which would keep Sam from playing football. At that point, I thought he's never going to play football again. It's a lot of emotions, you know, running through your body, like, okay, well, my career is over, what am I going to do next? After additional testing, doctors realized the blood clot was actually a side effect of a thyroid surgery Sam had when he was 16. It created a bunch of scar tissue in my shoulder, under my clavicle. They were like, we need to go in there and create space by taking out your first rib and basically alleviating all the pressure that had built up in my shoulder. Before the rib removal, Sam had a strange request for his surgeons. Hey, do I get to keep this rib? And they looked at each other and they said, oh, okay, well, yeah, we'll save your rib for you. And sure enough, when they brought him from the recovery room after surgery, there was the little plastic biohazard bag with a rib in it. Hartman was back out on the field four weeks later. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Welcome back, Sam Hartman. While the rib sat in a container in his fridge at Wake Forest. Then in January, when Sam transferred to Notre Dame, the rib transferred to Sam's parents' fridge in South Carolina. And Sam started thinking about it again. You know, I thought about carving it into something, and I'm like, okay, well, what about like a necklace? We kind of just started discussing ideas. Can we get puka shells? Can we make it like a puka shell shark necklace, but it's a rib? So this summer, Sam's mom, Lisa, a retired nurse with extensive experience in the OR, went back to work. I needed to get some special peroxide and some bioenzyme detergent and soaked the rib for like 48 hours and then you debride it. It's not anything to me that seems strange, really. Sam's mom finished the necklace on July 24th and shipped it to him in time for Notre Dame's season opener in Ireland. Hartman through his progressions, looking in zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame! I think that the necklace symbolizes you can take a part of me out, but it's not going to stop me. What do you say to people who go, this is crazy, what a goofy thing to do? If they haven't lived it, then they, they probably don't understand just the sentimental value and the struggle and the lows of what I went through, what my family went through. It's going to be something that was going to have a special case and a special save because it is a one of one. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.